Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make this little uh, needle book. Actually, how to show you, you and your kids how to make this little needle book. If your kids like sewing, and I really hope they do, they're going to love to have their own little needle book to keep their needles and pins safely. Now, this one, you've just got a simple little flower on the front with a running stitch. If you're not sure how to do a running stitch, I'll show you in the tutorial, but I have a separate tutorial all about running stitches. And inside is simply a running stitch down the middle and this fun stitch here, which is called a whipped running stitch, which is a really easy stitch where the thread gets woven in and around the running stitch. But I'll show you in the tutorial. My name's Trixie. You can find me over at sewsofty.com where you'll find lots of free softy tutorials. Now let's do the tutorial. Okay, so we're going to begin sewing our little flower. So here's our supplies. We've got our little flower cut out, circle, butterfly and two different rectangles of felt. Okay, so for the first thing, you're going to get your little circle and you're going to put it on your flower. You can pin it if you want or you can just hold it. I've already got my threaded needle and knotted at the end. I'm using a um, doubled over thread and knotted at the end. Oops, there goes my needle. Okay, and we're just going to do a simple running stitch and you're going to go up and down and turn as you go. I think it's easier always if you just when you do your running stitch if you just go down and up rather than going to the back because it makes it easy to work out where your next stitch is going to be. Don't forget if you're not quite sure how to do the running stitch there's a running stitch tutorial in my on my YouTube channel. Okay. Oops. Okay. You can use ordinary sewing cotton or you can use DMC or any embroidery floss or pearl cotton. Okay, so here's our last stitch. I'm going to do that. I'm going to now take it to the back so I can show you how to end it. To end it, there are different ways, but this way I'm going to show is just put my needle through the last stitch. And when you have this little loop, you put your needle through the loop and you pull and you get a little knot and just to make sure that it's really secure you're going to put your needle under that stitch again through the loop and there you have a nice secure knot okay I'm going to snip that and there you go there's your flower it's ready for uh, to put on the front of your needle book okay now we've got our two rectangles of felt I've actually folded them over in half and ironed it so we get that nice crease in the middle. This one I've done the same and you can see I've just cut the edges with a little um, pinking shears or scalloping scissors. You'll find the um, templates to all these on my blog so we're softy and there's our butterfly. We're going to go center them nicely. When we're happy just going to pin them down so they don't move. Now, I've got my threaded needle, there we go, the knot at the end, and I'm just going to start in the, between the pink and the orange letter, uh, orange felt, I'm going to bring my needle up on that sort of little crease there, and I'm going to do a back stitch to secure, or a double back stitch to secure the ends nicely, so that goes backwards and forwards. Oops, easy. And I'm going to do another stitch on top of it to make sure it's nicely secured and it's not going to come out. And then I'm going to start doing my running stitch. Okay. Kids sometimes like to um, hold their work, sometimes they just have their work on the table. For the last stitch I'm also going to do a double back stitch to make sure it's nice and secure just the same way you started. So you're going to go backwards and forwards and I'm going to go backwards um, underneath and now to cut it I'm just going to push my needle, I don't know if you can see this, between the pink 
and the orange felt just so to lose the, the tail and it goes snip there okay there we have our line nicely done I'm going to take out my pins and now I've got this nice multicolored thread which I'm going to use for the body of the butterfly okay so I'm going to start to, so we don't see the t end of the um, thread I'm going to start between the orange and the yellow layer and I'm going to come up right about there and now I'm going to use the end of the needle the eye of the needle which is sort of a bit blunter to start weaving through my um, running stitch so you can weave in any direction so I can go this way I'm sort of going this direction all the time and I'm going to keep going backwards in the same direction or if you want you can turn it around and you can go this direction that direction anywhere you want and you just keep on going until you get a nice thick looking body. I'm going to go this way, same direction again. Oops. If you'd like another tutorial, there's also a whipped running stitch tutorial on the um, YouTube channel so you can see it a bit slower. And I'm just keeping on going. I'm going to go this direction now. And when you look at your um, little body and you think you've done enough, I think I'll just do one more row. And when you're finished, you're going to do a little knot. So you get the last stitch, you're going to just put your needle through the loop, tie it in a knot. I'm going to do the same thing again. Push it under. And when you get that little loop, you have a knot. And to get rid of the thread so you don't see it, you can just push the end of the thread needle, sorry, between the yellow and the orange felt, snip it, and there we go, and now your needle book is ready for some pins and some needles, oops, didn't do that very well, did I, and we've almost forgotten. We've got our little flower. If you want to press that with an iron again, you can. We've got your little flower. Just going to get some glue. Like this. And stick it on your needlebook. And there we go. You have your completed needlebook. Which is just a fun little addition to any kid's um, sewing kit.